Good morning, everybody. I'm back with you today after a, a long break. <laughs> I'm bringing to you today a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh rip for Magnificent Mavens. Um, this pull is fire. Uh, my general review of the box is that it's a pretty cool box, really neat cards. Um, I like the some of the contents that come in this box. It's a little bit harder to pull feral rares. Um, I've opened about three boxes now and haven't even come close, but there are, there are some other cards in the set that are that are good that show a little bit of value. So thank you for coming back and visiting. I've gone through a couple mini vacations, celebrated an anniversary. I've been to a couple of auctions, just been stocking up my store for Q4. Um, there's a lot of super awesome Christmas get going into my store. Uh, some rare, very rare figurines, antiques. I'm going to be listing today um, and over the coming weeks. Makes me a little nervous. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to shipping glass, but um, these were a super big hit, a uh, big find, and I just can't wait to flip them and see what everyone thinks. Hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, let me know you like my video, ring that bell so you can get notified of future content. Here is my review for Magnificent Mavens. All right, now, Let's get into these two box rips here. I actually opened one of these boxes last week. Didn't do very well. This is one of the one of the many newer sets for Yu-Gi-Oh that's come out recently. There's about 10 or 15 cards spread throughout this set that are valued between $80 and $250 on the TCG Player website which of course um, pulls values based on um, sales from multiple sites and, and their, own, their own site. It's a pretty cool box. They're about $25 at um, your retail store, Walmarts, Targets, um, card shops. Well, card shops who um, receive retail product straight from Yu-Gi-Oh. Other card shops may be pricing them a little bit higher. All right, you got your standard, I think four packs, and then a pack of game sleeves. I always use these game sleeves. I'll uh, put these on cards that I sell. Kind of mix them up I have some dating back to 2020 some pretty cool sleeves that i use but um, these have already started going out I typically use a top loader for single card sales also you buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards from me that's to be expected as long as supplies last first pack i don't know the values of these so i'll I'll go back and do a recap. There are a couple cards that are obvious, but we'll see where it goes. All right. Trap Tricks, Sarah. Trap Tricks is typically good. Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard. Therian, Duke of Yule. Sword Soul, Supreme Sovereign, Chang Ying. And Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. Looks like these are all ultra rare cards. I'm gonna have two boxes today, also, by the way. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, Witch Crafter Confusion Confession. Beautiful Princess, Sky Striker Ace, Shizuku, Witchcrafter, Jenny. I believe there's a blue eyes in this set, which is, of course, the obvious. Can't remember if, it's a, if there's a Dark Magician.
Harpy's Feather Duster. I know that's going to be a good one. There is a, some lines shooting across the foil there, but Feather Duster is always nice. This one has a cool foil on it. Medora, the Sword Oracle. Non-Fusion Area. Nightmare Phoenix makes a return. That was a, that's a popular one for your extra deck. But you can find also Genesis Impact and some other sets. Sky Striker, Mobilize, and Gage. Last pack of the first box. Ah, love it, y'all. Blue Eyes, Abyss Dragon. Not the one I really wanted, but Keldo, the Sacred Protector. Sword of Soul Assessment. Gasha Decoro. The skeletal Mayakashi. Cool looking card. That's a neat foil there. Dragon Maid Chango Changeover. Dragon Maid Changeover. Really cool foil pattern there. If you like the video so far, I do need subscribers. I would love to hit 100. I think I'm at five, so a long way to go. Please share my content with your friends. Put it out there if you're in school. Get people to watch my videos. Hit that like button. Ring that bell for new content. Got a few videos I'm working on. Coming soon. Next box here. Got one pack tried to slip out the back. Doesn't want to be opened. One, two, three, four packs. That's sweet. Uh, I haven't got this yet. For me, it's fun matching the sleeve up with the card. And the ones that look the best. But uh, those will be going out on single order card purchases. Box two. Pack one. Here we go, y'all. Black Luster Soldier. Soldier of Chaos. Black Luster is always a good one to return. Agito, the Ancient Sentinel. Black Luster is great in the extra deck, by the way. Sword Soul Strife. Sword Soul Taya. And Scapegoat makes a return. Cute one. Cute spells, cute spells. Pack two. Skull Drain. Trap card. Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard. Therion, Bull Ain. It jumped. It's a token card. Token cards are usually fun. I can't do a lot with them, but G Golem token. And the Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign. Quixing Long Yang. Looks cool. Third pack. Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. So another Black Luster. <clears throat> That's the Effect card. Effect Warrior. Witchcrafter, Confusion, Confession. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool manga images there. And then Beautiful Princess. Cat Shark. Always some cat cat collectors in our Yu-Gi-Oh community here. And another token, Dark Soul token. It's fantastic right there. Last pack of this rip in this video today. 
just one more time as I go into this last pack to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, let me know you like the video, it helps me get organic views. Ring that bell so that you'll get notifications when I drop new content. And go back and look at the rest of my content. I have my inaugural Yu-Gi-Oh! video a little over a month ago, two or three videos back. I think it was just straight fire, but you can go back and find that. And I will be posting more Yu-Gi-Oh! content in the future. It is one of my top sellers in my eBay store, which is at TN Master Picks. You can find information on our stores below. Please go check out. Guaranteed you'll find something you want for Christmas. Share me with your friends, your family. And if you don't like my content, it's okay. Hit the play button on my first video. Turn the volume down and go to sleep. I have jokes, y'all. Here we go. Last chance at something nice. Sword Soul Emergence. Medora, the Sword Oracle, Non Fusion Area, another Nightmare card, Nightmare Cerberus, and another Nightmare Phoenix, finishing up with the extra deck pieces. So, all right. All right. I promised everyone a follow up of uh, the cards with maybe some values and comps. Um, essentially, uh, these two boxes I finished on Friday night. Um, I paired them up with the one box I had done previously, and I've looked through the cards and, and the price guide. And essentially, these cards were all, they're all about three, several $3 cards. But for, um, I will say for the most part, I'm looking at... Um, cards below a dollar below a dollar fifty now this card here the keldo sacred protector it's currently selling in the range of seven to eight dollars uh, with free shipping and then some of the three dollar cards are the uh, medora sword oracle accumulated a few of those I actually have these on my store with a volume discount if you need a play set you can just buy them separately if you buy all three you get 25 percent off I may add to those the skull drains about three dollars 325 that's a free shipping agito ancient sentinel harpy's feather duster had high hopes for this one value could go up because it's a popular spell card but still um, three to four dollar range. Um, Sword Soul Emergence, Sky Striker, Mecha, Widow Anchor. <clears throat> That's from a different set. I still have some I need to go through and comp out, but um, for the most part, if the price doesn't stand out well over a dollar on the TCG site, then it's not going to sell too much more on eBay unless it gets hot yeah you have to really continuously monitor Yu-Gi-Oh once a set comes out because um, you, you may look at a card when it first come out and it's not getting a lot of hype and then um, all of a sudden they get they get some attention on social media wherever you all go to play with people live you see other people using cards that they've got so it, just different things can cause the prices and the values the sell rate of the card to fluctuate very dramatically this is the the two different card sleeves that comes with the box and then um so here's what happened on saturday i bought another box went to my walmart they had a fresh case so i went ahead and grabbed one more box still didn't get anything and then i noticed this was only about a 12 minute video and i had to run to walmart tonight and they still had the same case. So I got one more. My follow-up is turning into a four-pack bonus footage. Hopefully there will be a secret Pharaoh Rare somewhere in the case. Hopefully right here in this box. But with that, we're going to dig into one more box and see if we can pull some fire 
on a wait for it moment. And the, when I did the rest of the video, I wasn't 100% sure how to identify the feral rares, but I was able to kind of dig through and look that up. So got four packs, got our duplicate sleeves, which again, I'll put those to good use. I, I do mix and match. I don't, what I talked about earlier in the video, like this is like different cards. I see, so I've, I kind of preload the sleeves. So yeah, it's all random. I don't take requests. I just slide it in the top loader, and make it waterproof, and send it out the door. So, so magnificent Mavens bonus footage for the review. We're searching for a secret feral rare pack one. All right, first card. Sword show, sword soul of Moe, regular foil, ultra rare, Medora, the sword oracle, another one of those, and now I have four of them. So, All right, goes in match, regular foil. And then Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon, regular foil spell card here, and Sword Soul Sacred Summit. This one, this one's interesting. It's got little, it's got the main foil image, and then there's. I think I got. I'm capturing this, I believe, in the camera though. You got little pieces of extra foil throughout. Yeah, my fingers are dirty. Oh, I. Uh, I've washed my hands, but I had to change the oil on the truck this evening, so you know, it takes about six weeks for that to get out of my skin. I think something. Pack two, searching for this Pharaoh Rare. Evenly matched. That should be a good card. Had those in Ghosts from the Past set, and I could not keep them in stock. I had someone actually ask me if I had any more a couple of days ago. Keldo, the Sacred Protector. So that's that $7 card of another one of those. So I'll be able to quickly add that in case someone needs a play set. Legendary Ocean. Regular Foil Spell. Instant Fusion. With the can of fusion on it it's got a nice foil pattern there that's probably going to be pop that just looks like it'll be a popular card but who knows shiranui solitaire shiranui solitaire all right the third of four packs still searching for the secret barrel rare i don't know when i'm gonna Stop opening these. I want one of the feral rares. It's a really cool foil pattern. I don't think I've received one of those before, not even in other sets. Maybe that's brand new. Who knows? Skill Drain. It's another $3 card. I have that to my listing. Sky Striker Mobilize Linkage. Pretty cool there. Magicians. Restage, Magician's Restage, kind of neat. <clears throat> it says, um, target a one, target one level three or lower spellcaster monster in your graveyard, special summon it, can only be used once, and then you can add one Magician Continuous Spell from your deck to your hand, except for this card so you get to special summon add a magician and then discard a hero lives uh, anti-spell fragrance not what i thought it was going to be and some of these are are good that's a another return from a, several different sets All right, y'all, last pack of the bonus coverage. I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I didn't say 
subscribe, hit that like button, all that stuff I've gone over several times. I hope you've enjoyed this bonus footage. It's going to extend my video for about 10 minutes. This is the last pack. Let's hope we get something good here. Number 93, Utopia Kaiser. Aguido, the Ancient Sentinel. $3 card. Another Magician's Restate, Restage. And covering up this spell. Ah, Sword Soul, Sacred Summit. A lot of spells in this pack. One more spell. Last card. Come on, y'all. Another Instant Fusion. So... No secret feral rares for this, but hopefully some good cards. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again on the next video. This is Andrew with TN Master Picks. Thank you for joining me today. Share me. Help me hit 100 subscribers as my next goal. Everyone have a good night.